Okay guys, so long story short, today was an eventful day. I went to go get a tooth extracted without using my discount program card, which I usually get half off. You should probably go do it if you want dental work. So I go there without any insurance, without any dental program, and instead of charging me 200 like they did last year, because our prices are all going up everywhere, they charged me $498 like I was going to pay that. So of course I walked out on them and I didn't get an extraction. And I'm trying to get my extraction done as soon as possible because I got my new impressions kit. My pop on veneers, baby. Look at the putty, I'm so excited. I didn't get to record the impression part. It was the worst part because I didn't want to mess it up. Um, so I had my husband help me, which was the best decision I made. So he rolled the putty and all of that. You have to do it in under a minute. And then you put half and half on the tray. Then you stick your teeth in it and you have to bite down as hard as you can and do not move. I think my impressions came back good, but we will see. They will be the judge of that. So after you're done with your impressions, they give you three of them. You put them back in your box. They have a label on the back of the box to bring it to UPS and it gets there in two days. I was trying to open this because I sealed it already to show you the impressions, but I didn't want to unseal it because then I would have to tape it up again. But I'm just excited. I'm about to go to UPS and send it off. And then um, when they come back, they'll have my teeth and then they'll have a mold and I'll show you the molds. So I also just wanted to add something to that video. The difference between pop-on veneers and shiny smile, I realized, is that pop-on veneers asks you for three photos of you. So from the front and both the sides to make their decision when they do your impressions because you never step in a doctor's office or dentist's office. So I was always wondering that. How are you going off of just molds? And you've never even seen me smile. So that's another reason I went with pop-on veneers. I just wanted to say that. Okay, so I just brushed my teeth and mouthwashed. Um, I highly recommend that every single time that you put these things in. Just because you don't want to get food and nasty stuff all in your veneers. I also recommend that you wash them out every time you use them. And it also comes with a cleaning kit, like dentures. And you can basically soak them and clean them like that as well. So before like I start talking about my experiences and everything, I just want to show you my teeth so that I can put them in for you because the other videos that I watched, they don't talk with them in. They basically talk with their stupid teeth the whole time. And then wait until the end of the video to put them in. I'm just going to show you what my teeth look like before I put them in. Nasty. Okay, so before I talk anymore, let's pop them in. Alright, and then I'll tell you a little bit about my experiences and everything else. The funniest thing is, is that when I was little... And I got braces. They told me that they were going to put them on the bottom. My bottom teeth were so straight until I got braces. They kept my snaggle tooth, which I thought was so cool because they needed it for it to fit right. They didn't want to take any chances. But here we go. So you just snap them in. I was so nervous that when they came that they weren't going to fit. So I didn't even want to do this video until I knew that they fit. covers that nasty rotting teeth so that's the bottoms and that's the top do you like them okay so a little bit about these things they're a little hard to talk in when you first start like this is my 24 hours of just starting to have them these are a little bit bigger than my teeth, obviously. You can tell that my teeth were smaller. I hated my small teeth. People in school used to make fun of me and call me chicklets because before having rotting teeth, I just had small chiclet looking white teeth. So I just love that they custom made my smile to be more big. 
I send them pictures at the beginning of my smile of what it looks like. So when I smile, I smile huge. So they took this into accountability as well. That when I smile, it's huge. They probably didn't want to give me small teeth. And I just think they look great. So a little bit about why I went with pop-on veneers. I have been doing research on these kind of companies for about two to three years now. As soon as I met my husband. My husband has different problems with his teeth than me. So my teeth rot and they will literally stay in the roots until somebody pulls them out. So it'll literally stay rotting until there's just a root. My husband's teeth fall out like cyber, saber tooth tigers. He can literally pull them out and they'll be huge teeth. So he couldn't do the pop on veneers, which I really wanted to get for him, but we are getting dentures for him. So there was no point anyway to even spend the $600 to get him something temporary when he's already just going to get real teeth. I know I can't talk with them right now, so don't make fun of me. This is the first day. Okay. And as soon as I get a hold of what I'm doing, it'll be better. The reason I went with pop-on veneers is because I looked up reviews. I've watched videos on Insta Smile, Shiny Smile, pop-on veneers, and I missed two more, which I wish I would have looked at, which if you are just starting out and you're looking at this video right now to tell you if you should get pop-on veneers, I would definitely look into Brighter Image Labs first. Brighter Image Labs is a little bit more expensive, but they will be a lot more real looking um they will actually do like your teeth now obviously that brighter image labs is gonna be from 800 to two thousand dollars for a temporary pop-on veneer yes it is very expensive over there but it's worth it don't you want a good set of teeth but if you're here, you're probably cheap like me and don't have a lot of money to spend on that when you could just go get dentures if you wanted to spend $2,000 on some fucking temporary teeth, right? So, we are not here for Brighter Image Labs. Shout out, doctor, whoever you are. You got good teeth, but we're not here for them. I was super scared that these were going to come back and they were going to look fake. They were going to, okay, so I've seen some videos online of the damn gum line looking crazy. But then you have to think about it. Is it their fault or was it the person doing the impressions fault? So one thing I can say is when you're doing these impressions, you need to watch that video four times. They will send you a box with a QR code on it. You need to scan that QR code with your phone and watch that video four to five times before you even attempt it. Do not attempt it, ladies. Or men. Don't attempt it. Okay. Just watch the damn video over and over again until you understand it. Another thing that they don't tell you. When you're using that putty, only put it in for four hours before you're about to mold it. Four hours, not nine, not two, four. You want to make sure that that putty is the exact um, temperature that they are telling you it needs to be. So four hours in and just let it sit out for two minutes while you watch the video again. I'm also going to tell you something that happened to me while I was in this process. So I had the impression kit mailed to me. Literally two days after I purchased this impression kit and my teeth. No shit did my teeth start hurting. Yeah, I had to get a tooth pulled. So I had to wait to do this impression kit because I didn't want to have a tooth that wasn't there anymore in the impressions. So they don't tell you that the putty will be okay. So if you end up getting the impression kit and you can't do it yet, it's okay. They say that as long as just don't put the putty in the fridge. Don't put it in there yet. 
You have to wait four hours until you're going to do those impressions. Only four hours leave it in there. Don't leave it in there for any more, any less. It's going to be perfect if you do it at four. So basically, I got my husband to help me with this. It was a lot better that I got somebody to help me with this because I was super, super nervous. Especially watching these videos of these people getting these effed up teeth. And, you know, I just purchased these from Pop-On. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm looking at all these videos of them being all effed up. You have to realize that it's probably the people. Okay? Just because they accept your impression does not mean that it's going to fit your mouth or it is going to look okay. They are going off of your impressions. So if you didn't do the impressions right, it's not going to look right. Do you see how I did the gum line? And another thing, I don't know if this helps anybody. I'm hoping that this video will help somebody. I didn't get their questions answered before from the other videos. With the impressions, it's the most important thing. So keep in mind that you're not focused on teeth right now. You are focused on getting those impressions right. When you have that putty mixed up, you have to make sure that it's a full ocean blue or a sky blue. They give you a blue and a white putty, okay? follow the directions in the video I'm not gonna get too much into it but make sure they're really mixed up until you can't see any white in it have somebody help you if it's more easier for you so they give you three tries with the impressions they have three different impressions that you have to do now make sure when you are doing these impressions that you listen to everything in the video obviously and they tell you to bite down do not do anything else. Don't adjust your teeth. Don't anything. Just bite down. All the way. You are supposed to be able to see through the blue. So when you are bit down and you take that impression out, you should see, be able to see through it with the light. And you want to leave that impression in your mouth for like five minutes. It even tells you how long. And you better have a alarm clock on your phone timer set. Because if you take it out too soon, it will ruin the impression and you will have teeth mark slides. And that is the reason that people get either too big of teeth, uh, the gum lines aren't right. And My nasty natural teeth again. And I don't recommend eating in them. That will ruin them. The reason that you get these pop-on veneers is for cosmetic reasons. They are not to eat in. You have normal ass teeth that you're trying to cover up because your teeth are still good and you still can use them for eating. Do not eat in these. You're going to ruin them. They're plastic. Porcelain. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you what comes in my box. So I got my pop-ons. Um, they came in this. It says to sterilize. It's before use. This is the thing where it tells you how to clean your veneers. These are my impressions. So these are my molds. They came back fantastic. These are my small top teeth. All chipped up. With one missing. I will be purchasing another spare veneer. $99 just in case these break. And you get a toothbrush. Hi, I'm here again. I'm going to pick up my kids. And there's just one more thing. I haven't been wearing these all day. This is the first time I've put them in since I left the house about two hours ago. And what I'm noticing is if they fit you right, which they fit me perfect, um, and you have sensitive teeth like I do, because I have very sensitive teeth, they are sore. Like, you know, like I couldn't be able to wear these all day without something hurting me on them. I can just tell and I know that this isn't a permanent fix let me just say that um, it's just a cosmetic fix until I can afford dentures and you have to think about eating with dentures and eating with your real teeth is so different you have to train yourself with dentures I still have my real teeth but they look nice for now and I only recommend it when you want to take pictures when you're going out somewhere and you're able to take them out and this is only for people with sensitive teeth back on that subject because 
because I have sensitive teeth, they're hurting my teeth right now, just them being in for this hour that I've had them in. I can tell in my front teeth right here, I can tell. But you know, I know they look amazing, but don't wear them all the time. I just wear them when I'm gonna go in the stores and stuff. And because it's just my first day. So. The longer that I talk with them in, the longer that I have them in, you're not even going to remember my old teeth. So, yeah, the longer that I talk with them in and keep them in, that's... The sensitivity is not too bad right now. All right, guys, just giving you a little update of my veneers. Um, yes, I do have a lisp with them. I do not care. Everybody talking about when I'm looking at TikTok videos. Oh, well, you have a lisp. Oh, well, you still have a lisp. I don't care. I have teeth. Do you see this? I have teeth. Do you think I care about a lisp? No, I really don't care about it. And I already had a lisp before, so now I'll just have to train myself to talk with the lisp with these. I'm fine with it. I don't really give a shit. I am in love with them. I probably would have went with a different company that's going to last longer. That's my only problem is I hope that these last. So I will be purchasing their uh, extra veneer, the spare veneer. So when these go.